The rocket crashing toward the moon is not the same one astronomers thought it was. Here's the updated version of the events. The rocket part crashing toward the moon is not the upper stage of a SpaceX Falcon 9, as was suggested by astronomers last month. Rather, it is most likely to be part of the Long March 3C rocket that launched China's moon-bound Chang'e 5T1 mission in October 2014. Astronomer Bill Gray, who originally identified unknown object WE0913A as a Falcon 9, published a correction on his Project Pluto blog on Saturday after receiving a note from John Giorgini, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Giorgini said that the original trajectory of the SpaceX rocket did not go especially close to the moon when it launched the NOAA's Deep Space Climate Observatory to the Lagrange Point 1 in 2015, and thus it would be a little strange if the second stage stayed close close enough to strike it. Confirming the misidentification, Gray explained he and other researchers found that WE0913A went past the moon two days after the NOAA's Deep Space Climate Observatory launch and had wrongly believed that the timing, the object's brightness, and a reasonable orbit made it a match. He added that he originally explained some apparent strangeness in the object's early orbit compared to what was known about the NOAA's Deep Space Climate Observatory's launch by assuming it was caused by rocket fuel leaking out and altering its trajectory. Now having reanalyzed data of launches around the same time, the booster from China's Chang'e 5T1 mission has been found to have an initial high orbit going past the moon that makes it the more likely candidate to be the object colliding with the moon on March 4th, though Gray points out that the evidence remains necessarily circumstantial. In 2014, the Chang'e 5T1 mission sent a test capsule to slingshot around the moon and return to Earth in preparation for 2020's Chang'e 5 mission, which involved a robotic lunar sample return. In defense of his initial misidentification, Gray added on his blog that even SpaceX appears not to know the location of its own Falcon 9 upper stage, as it had not actually refuted the original claim. China's moon rover has discovered a strange object on the dark side of the moon. Here's what you need to know. China's Yutu-2 moon rover has spotted an as-yet unidentified cube-shaped mystery hut on the far side of the moon, according to Space.com. The rover became the first to land safely on the moon's far side when it touched down on January 3, 2019, and since then has been very slowly making its way northwest through the von Karman crater within the South Pole Atkin Basin. It spotted the unknown object on the horizon to the north, roughly 80 meters away from it in November, on the mission's 36th lunar day, according to Space.com. However, despite much recent interest, space journalist Andrew Jones tweeted that the object was likely nothing more mysterious than a boulder, which can be excavated by objects hitting the moon. This theory chimes with U-2-2's other work, mapping varying layers of the moon's subsurface generated by space debris impacts, according to a science advances study. And in fact, Space.com explains that although a U-2-2 diary published by a science outreach channel affiliated with the China National Space Administration referred to the object as a mystery hut, this was meant as a placeholder name rather than an accurate description. Whatever it ultimately turns out to be, Yu Tu Tu is now expected to spend the next two to three lunar days, or two to three Earth months, traveling toward it to get a closer look, according to Space.com. A scientific fight has broken out over the origins of a strange interstellar object. Here's what you need to know. A recent attempt to explain the origins of Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system, has been encountered by two Harvard astrophysicists one of whom, A.B. Loeb, has famously suggested that it could be a piece of alien technology, according to SciTech Daily. Detected on October 19, 2017, Oumuamua was initially difficult to categorize before the nitrogen iceberg theory of the object emerged and satisfied many scientists. That theory, presented in the AGU Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets, suggested the 45-meter object appears to be made from frozen nitrogen like the surface of Pluto. Astrophysicists behind it said Oumuamua likely ejected from the surface of a Pluto-like exoplanet during a collision half a billion years ago, and what's more, this type of collision was common enough to satisfy the statistical likelihood of Oumuamua being detected in our solar system. This origin story would explain Oumuamua's strange, flat shape, as its outer layers would have been evaporated by cosmic radiation. And it would also explain why, like a comet, Oumuamua sped up erratically as it approached the sun and sunlight vaporized the ices it is made of. 
However, SciTech Daily explains that Harvard astrophysicists have cast doubt over this theory because it requires the existence of too many Pluto-like exoplanets. Writing in the New Astronomy Journal, they say Oumuamua's size, plus the number of theoretically similar objects required to make its discovery likely, requires much more nitrogen than is predicted to exist in the universe, according to Live Science. The new paper explains that pure nitrogen is rare. In our solar system, it has been found on Triton and Pluto, where it represents around 0.5% of the total mass of the dwarf planet, and star systems likely do not contain enough nitrogen ice to allow for such a large population of Pluto-like exoplanets or the theoretically abundant nitrogen ice Oumuamua's they might produce. This counterposition itself is now controversial, though, with one of the authors of the original nitrogen theory, Stephen Desch, telling Universe Today that the estimates of the number of likely Oumuamua equivalents used by the Harvard astrophysicists was too high, and as a result, so was their estimate of the amount of nitrogen required to create them. Desch explained that with a lower estimate of the total number of Oumuamua equivalents floating around in space used in the original theory, a lower amount of nitrogen is required to exist, and thus, so is a a more reasonable number of Pluto-like exoplanets. They are attempting to manufacture controversy where none exists, he added. If that is the case, and science writer Ethan Siegel at Big Think has similarly accused the writers of the new paper of using indefensible values from partial and arguably cherry-picked data, one obvious reason for Professor Loeb to be manufacturing controversy around the nitrogen theory is that he is the author of the second prominent theory, which stated in 2018 that the object could be a light sail or probe sent intentionally to Earth's vicinity by an alien civilization. He based this on the fact that grainy images of the object suggest it is a flat object that seems to tumble once every eight hours. It also seemed to accelerate, as if it was pushed away from the sun, like a light sail. Even at the time, other astrophysicists were not impressed with this theory, and an international team of researchers published a study in 2019 that stated Oumuamua's properties are consistent with a natural origin. However, Loeb replied in 2020 that the data gathered on Oumuamua is incomplete, saying that to learn more, we must continue to monitor the sky for similar objects, before going on to publish a book which doubles down on his claim that the object could have been an alien craft. Finally, in June of this year, Loeb published an article on the Scientific American website saying the Pentagon's recent UFO report showed his theory could be taken more seriously. Of course, other theories are available. A study published in Nature in 2020, for instance, suggested the tidal forces that formed Oumuamua may have caused its erratic behavior. Writing in a news release, researchers said Oumuamua's parent body or bodies may have had a close encounter with a host star, and computer models show tidal forces from stars could rip the parent body apart and turn the original object into an elongated field of debris. The fragments may have then melted under the intense heat near the star before condescending again to form the strange cigar shape of Oumuamua. Additionally, water ice could be trapped under Oumuamua's surface. As the object makes its passage through the solar system, the ice could be vaporized and converted to thrust, which gives Oumuamua its gravity-defying accelerations. It's less fun than aliens, but still pretty cool, right? Whatever the explanation or explanations behind Oumuamua, and nitrogen ice is very, very likely to be the winner in this fight, according to Ethan Siegel, the debate will likely go on. All we can do is watch. Meanwhile, for its part, whatever it is, Oumuamua is still changing. When it was at its closest approach to Earth, it appeared to have a width six times that of its thickness. By the time the object begins to leave the solar system around 2040, it will be ten times as wide as it is thick, according to researchers in an Arizona State University press release earlier this year. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.